bands over the years, and I've always preferred to play in three pieces, um, bass, drums, guitar, and if there's vocals on top of it, still technically a three piece band. Um, Pantera, for example, pretty much the music was a three piece. Um, and it's really good if you write your own original stuff and you write the thing for one guitar, um, but when you decide in that same band to do an ACDC cover, or um, any other band that is known for having two distinct guitar parts in each song, Aerosmith is a good example, um, that could be an issue. Uh, for example, I always take a whole lot of Rosie. My best friend and I in a band called Churchill, my best friend Hogg, we would do that song and not having uh, two guitar players. It's, you can do it, but it takes a little practice. <laughs> A lot of guitar players do both parts, but um, you know, you've got to, it's not a slow song either. And it was also the same way that I would work on improv and leads. And I play kind of a chunky lead style, um, it's really blues influenced. Um, I don't use my pinky as much as I should, which I'm sure you'll notice, but uh. <laughs> That kind of thing, and um, I've always found a way. I've never, I've always just, you know, improv leads, and I found a good way to do that is um, to, you know, act as though I'm playing one of those cover songs, and I have a rhythm guitar part to cover while I'm doing it. Um, let's just say it's a guitar breakdown, and um, let's say the tunes go with something like this here. <laughs> pretend that each one of those da, 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 that's time for uh, a little lead in a loop in between each one. So we'll do something like this. playing off the A minor pentatonic. <laughs> Thank you very much.